Welcome back to another episode of Legacy of Cain Soul Weaver, which at this point I'm gonna just call Soul Weaver because that's what I refer to it as. Actually, that's what most people refer to it as. Um, in any case, as you can tell, we're not where we last left off. Uh, this is actually the beginning of the game. Whoops, analog. So, um, every time you load a save, you come back to the beginning of the game. Likewise, when you die in the spectral realm, you go back in the beginning of the game not the biggest deal just because of the teleporter is right here and i guess it's a good way to show it off that's pretty much how it works you attack the platform and uh look for the area you want to teleport to and then walk through where's my staff there you are my trusty staff so let's go and get on with it. Last time we discovered that uh, because, you know, we decided to, or we can't really decide things like that, but because we ascended further than Kane, we basically be, uh, created a blasphemous act. And as such, we were executed for it. Oh, I thought I had him. But and doing so we were executed so uh because of that no after the execution we were revived as a wraith uh devourer of souls and basically we're tasked to putting back balance to nazgoth oh the frame drop this at least had remained constant the endlessly swirling vortex of the abyss, my tomb, and the womb of my rebirth. Though much of Nosgoth's landscape had changed, these cliffs gave me my bearings. My clan territory was to the west. I was anxious to see how my descendants had fared during the centuries of my absence. So I guess it makes sense, but fun fact, if you jump off of this, uh, how do I crawl? There we go. If you jump off of this guy, uh, you actually get go to the beginning of the game. It lands you directly to it. So little, little good touch there. Um, one thing though, how the hell do I look around? No, no. No. Well, I guess the world may never know. That's movement. All right. I guess uh, I'll figure it out next episode. Maybe. Again, long hallways will be a big thing in this. Oh, wow. I was just one. Oh, this is fledgling. That's why. You know, I should have burned him, but it's whatever. Too late now. All right, let's see here. Give me a second. Just gotta listen to that awesome music. All right. And these are adults. The way you can tell is their right arm or yeah, the right arm has a a club-like appendage. And yeah, they just take more damage. They're pretty much identical to the fledglings, which we first encountered in the, uh... When we first fought these guys. Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. So, uh, God damn it. So this is going to be a common theme with this game as well. Everything, oh, not everything, but uh, many of the things in this game is controlled by hitting, but the square button. Utter desolation. My once proud kin wiped from this world like excrement from a boot. I knew the hand that wrought this deed. 
Far away. Where is he? I believe he's over here. Uh, no, it might be later in the. Later on. Hmm, I know he's here somewhere. Alright. So, yeah, a lot of the commands in this is used. You use the square button. So, oftentimes you see you have a case where you just constantly attack something as opposed to. Uh, wow, that was quick. Uh, so, you constantly have a case where. Um, oh. Go die. Um, where you attack the air as opposed to try and get the uh the staff or whatever or you attack the block because you're trying to you know grab the block attack the door so on and so forth kind of annoying after a while but uh unfortunately it's just a limitation of the control here go another teleportation by the way oops wrong button there we go i should have stopped moving shouldn't i but it's whatever Go down. This early part of the game is really linear just because of the fact that you have nothing. No ability. The only thing you actually have is the staff. And it's not really yours, but it's kind of temporary, if you will, because if you throw it by accident, well, you lost it. Or not really. Depending where you throw it at. If you throw it like in the river, yep, you definitely lost it. So, uh,. Let's go ahead and get back. This music is awesome, by the way. Uh, let's go over here because this is the only way we could actually go. I believe this is where we find that one fellow. Wow. By the way, uh, that's death down there. Uh, I guess it's kind of obvious because it's water. I know there's a way to. Oh well, I don't remember how to control the camera. All right, this should be another guy around the corner over here. Nope. Yep, there he is. Hi. It's a fledgling. Oh, and then his papa came by. All right, let's proceed onwards. Uh, boom. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, uh, this should be, there he is. Oh. You're gonna hear that a lot, the same cry, the death cry. It's uh, it, it gets recycled many times. I don't really have to fight these guys though, honestly. I could just run right past them and they won't really follow me after a, after a while, that is. All right, so there's some secrets over here. Unfortunately, we can't do it just yet. Um, we need an ability that we get much later in the game. So for now, let's try and pick this thing up. There we go. And pull this lever. Alrighty then. Like I said, it's really linear in the beginning part. Actually, no, honestly, a lot of the game is really linear. Once you get the item, the weapon you need or the ability you need, it's, uh... Straightforward to exactly where you need to go. It's just there's some exploration aspect to the game. No, please. I didn't recognize these flayed racks of flesh. Their scent was vampiric. They gnawed upon their victim's carcass like dogs. The best thing about that was the model. <laughs> 
these guys so these guys they're a little annoying what they do is uh they burrow on the ground uh so oftentimes you fighting them and then they disappear out of nowhere you stop oh missed a dodge son uh it looks like they didn't do it this time but yeah they're easy to take out either which way uh I Let's see. I think if this is a section where we meet the one guy that I mentioned earlier. If I could open this door. Uh, he is right there. Do not go near him. At all. What you want to do is kill. Make sure you kill those vampires. The unmistakable marks of Melchiah's clan. To what depths had our dynasty plummeted if these ghouls were the descendants of my high-born brother? Were they so debased as to recruit fledglings from the desiccated corpses here interred? So you want to make sure to kill these vampires as quickly as possible. Before uh, they go after the, uh, the one guy. All right. Uh, where is he? So right now he's still he's a uh, hyper defensive right now if you go near him he will shoot Okay, now I'm not gonna go near him, but if you do go near him, he will shoot uh, if you ignore him They will cause no issue later on at least the humans that is there is humans in this game and Besides, you know, that one instance we saw and the many instances of them being, you know, eaten. But there's actually live human NPCs uh, up here. Yeah. My brother Melchiah was made last and therefore received the poorest portion of Cain's gift. Although immortal. His soul could not sustain the flesh, which retained much of its previous human frailty. This weakness, it seemed, was passed on to his offspring. Their fragile skins barely contained the underlying decay. Uh, where did this guy... Oh, well, he disappeared. Uh, not disappeared, but burrowed. That's a instance right there, but if you aim at them... Uh, hold R1. You could detect where they are. Grab the staff. All right. So, let's go up here. Actually, is there anything over here? I heard something. I believe they lead to the same intersection. Yeah, they do. So these are the fledglings. You can tell because they got hit once and you know got destroyed. Oh, actually, with fledglings, you could just... Oh. Well, you could just toss your staff and they'll die instantly. If you hit them correctly. I'm getting hit a lot. So... Wow. <laughs> that was a fail. Uh... Whatever. Just kill him. Later on in the game, we will be able to permanently kill these guys. All of them. But right now, we just uh, have to content with the spear. We could go back every so often and, you know, light them ablaze. Go back again. Uh, relight the flame and so on and so forth. But that's really tedious with the torch. In any case, uh, let's, let's uh, end things off here. Uh, not much progress was made but in the beginning it'll be like that unfortunately so if you like the video go ahead and like it if you dislike it go ahead and press the dislike button uh, of course leave some comments down in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video go ahead and hit the subscribe button that way you could get the latest videos as soon as they become available once again thanks for watching see you guys next time